two are very close for an idol and a fan. Ota is special. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? Yeah, hero my ass. Hello, I'm back and I'm hoping that my sound is a lot louder than before because after I recorded this, I was like, oh wait, I'm super quiet, so I am sorry. I am an idiot. Aha ha. Let's continue the game. Okay. Uh -huh. Is it giving me like a little flashback? If so, that's neat. I love this. Uh huh. I remember that. Dude, that was cool. That was. Wow. Okay. Let's read the things that I said I would last time. Whoa. Okay. Uh, whoa. 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 Okay. Kaname date. Sex. Male. Age. 30. Birthday. August 3rd. Profession. Police officer of Advanced Brain... Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. Metropolitan Police Department. Likes. Classic cars. Curry. Bonito. Pelvis... Pelvises. <laughs> Rika. Rika? Yeah. Uh, dislikes soft boiled eggs, pumpkins, <laughs> ghosts, hobbies, collects vintage mag magazine skills. Reaction time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. As a sing singer, I sci sciencer, I oh god, Date uses the science machine to dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest. He lost his eye six years ago, but replaced it with a prosthetic eye, which houses an artificial- Yeah, okay, we know this. All right, next. AI ball, female, according to the settings, age- Oh God, she's only five. <laughs> Guys, don't loot her. <laughs> birthday, November 9th. Of course, nobody's birthday is mine, but profession, investigation assistant, likes insects, spiders, crustaceans, non-binary stuff, dislikes dirty jokes, going outside the simulation, hobby, sneaks outside of Dante's eye socket while he's sleeping and makes mischief, skills, hacking, fluoroscopy, voice imitation, and 3D modeling. Iba is a... Da -da. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and resides in Dante's left eye socket. She assists Dante by gathering information, connecting networks, and data da databases, and using her x-ray and thermographic functions. Mizuki Ohira, female, 12, July 6th. She's a six. <laughs> That's her profession. So cute. I mean, obviously, but uh, tonkotsu, ramen, stew, unagi, metal pipes, and irises. Dislikes raw seafood. How Date holds chopsticks. Hobbies. Breeding sil- God. I don't- Collecting Adora Rabbit merch. Skills. Studies martial arts and emotion <laughs> enjoys emotionally attacking Tate. Oh no. Okay. Uh, although she's not related, he became her de facto guardian four years ago. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh, Thirty-seven. April. Uh, Maid cafe manager likes unusual things. Dislikes ordinary ordinary things. Work. Enjoys songwriting. Aw. Uh. Ran -na 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 -na. Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket. What kind of a... I don't judge. Uh, he is the ex-husband of Shoko Nadami and Mizuki's father. He's been Date's closest friend for five years. Shoko Nadami, female, dead, January 4th. Um, to be envied and praised. Someone heard her in the past. Winery tours. Uh, Shoko's the ex of the... And I've ever that. Yep, she's found dead. This little shit. Um... Self-declared likes, of course. Oh my god. Skills, sock puppeting, of course. Uh, I don't really care about you, honestly. Eh. Boss. Hold up, boss is 42? Yo, boss is looking pretty good for 42. Honest to god, like... I thought she was like 20. Uh, <laughs> uh, likes anything black, happy families, ex boyfriends, um, going to clubs, grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. I hate that, okay. Uh, and that's it, okay. Uh, appendix. Yeah, what is this? A kind of call and response game that ASAP plays with their fans, Japanese idols, 
often create a special cheer or slogan for a band that they memorize chants at concerts. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. I was like, what? What is this? That's so dumb. Oh, ooh. Okay, sure. Yeah, that, oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, this car is a domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel is on the right side. That's because they also drive on the left side of the road. Uh, okay, so A set is in the passenger seat, yeah. Um... I like how they make sure you stay your eyes on the road, that's nice. Um... About Ota. Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? Yeah, hero my ass. Why'd you become an idol? Well... I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? Who doesn't? Be famous, get on TV, be a household name. You're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. Well, obviously. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Ah. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Ah, uh, Minecraft. <laughs> I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Okay. Um... How'd you start working for Lumnus Gate? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. Mm -hmm. And then... Not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. Uh huh. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Uh huh. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. That's true. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Huh, close enough. Okay. Um. About Mizuki. We're good friends. We That's go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. I am a police officer. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Well, detective, close enough. I don't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But you are a cop, well, I... right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! Top secret, sweetheart. What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Oh, don't. Whoa, whoa hold up now. Well then, tell me! And Indians use the left, too. What? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. Okay. Uh, center console. Center console. It's got AC and rate. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. No, I wanted the dashboard. Okay, the dashboard. Dash has a ton of stuff built in. It has speedometer, tachometer, and other meters with gauges. Glove box. Glove hey, box. you got any guns in here? I bet you do. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. Oh my god. She not I would say she'd be me, but at the same time she wouldn't be. Um doo -doo -doo. what else can I look at? There's an older car, but it's stay there, computer installed a bit. I have a camera can control it. This Dash ride button. is pretty rad, huh? It is indeed rad. 
Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, about that video. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. Oh crap! Whoops. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh. It yeah, is? that is what. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. <laughs> what? Excuse me. I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. Huh? Ah, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. That was very unexpected. Let me just let me just calm down for a second. Oda's gonna be super pissed, but I yikes! <laughs> just kidding. Oh my god! Hope so. Don't. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. Don't hold it. I hate. Mm. I honest to God thought she was gonna die. Cause I know games that freaking pulled this. They do all the time. Mm. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Screw you, Aset. God, I've been playing games like Danganronpa too much. Cause they would pull that and then it's like, oh well, ha ha ha. <sighs> Part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. Mm. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Okay. Yeah, what is your real name? By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris uh -huh. Sagan. Okay. I know, weird, right? No, it's cute. That's a cute name. Huh? What? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it full. Aha. Mm hmm Something wrong? So do I know you from six years ago? Six or... What was it? I think it was six years ago. No. It's nothing. Hmm. I mean, I was friends with the one guy. So, I mean, it's possible. I mean, I don't... Well, Bloom Park, here we are. Excuse me, you Konami Date? Yes, That's I right. am. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you gotta deal with it. <laughs> I just couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed into the scene. Of course she did. Great. All right. Uh, fence. Fence around the merry ground. Basic. Okay, I thought I could click this too. Column. Yeah, that's when Mizuki was in there. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Like, how the heck could you get inside a merry- I mean, I'm pretty sure this was what opened up. But still. Why? What? <laughs> Ooh! Panderide. The type you put a coin a black in. Black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? Okay, Iris, I love you. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know! <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Okay, Iris, I love you. You like Danganronpa. Okay! <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, because this was made by the people who. Er. I don't know. Control room. It's control Is room. That a Phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. Indeed. I was joking. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, really? Ferris wheel. There's a Ferris wheel. So we're running through the giant eye staring down. Okay. 
Uh, barrier. Holographic. Whoa! That's cool. Policeman. Local cop. How's the investigation coming? It's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Okay. Can I... Okay. Bench. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. Where is this anger coming from? Yeah, look like it's a bench. Um, parasol. Parasol. Parasol, whatever. Shoku's corpse was tied up here. Wait a second. Uh, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. Yeah. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must mean... She must have been killed in a separate place. Uh, what are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date. Was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Ritual murder? Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. Okay, Iris. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around. No. Stabbing her one by one. It was just the one moon to the ice pick. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? Exactly. I do. Well... Let's hear it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, why do you think this is a ritual murder? The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. See, you really know about Egyptian gods. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet. And that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the Eye of Providence. The Eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Ah, Illuminati. <laughs> oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry there it and is. the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. Oh. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. I mean, maybe. Um, but hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Well, that's mean. <laughs> ah, it's because you're a loser. That's <laughs> that's why you're so angry at benches before, because you can't- you don't have somebody to love. Aw, you know, I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, like, you're just- you're just lonely. Not a pole. Uh, uh, uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. I'm not gonna be pole dancing. You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? See... No. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? No. Um, yeah, why do you think this is a ritual murder? I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Uh-huh. Horus? Providence? Left eye? Oh. There has to be some kind of meaning to this. I mean, maybe. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Wait. Yeah, no. When we saw it, the ice pick was gone! And in Mizuki's hands in the frickin' thing! Ota, are you hiding something? Yeah. Why? When we yeah. arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye exactly. socket. Exactly. Ota's telling the truth. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To Mizuki? No, it wasn't Mizuki. No. Red herring. Boo. <laughs> uh, have you been here before? Well, when I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, 
Loom Park is located at the heart of the Kawasaki District. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Uh -huh. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. Uh -huh. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. And wasn't that, like, didn't we talk about this earlier with the mom's shop, Oda's mom's shop, and she's like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, this district has been shut down for years. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they okay? I don't know. But if anything happens to them, it'd be their own fault. True. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes. Le that keeps the media out, at least. Yeah, legally. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Okay. We should leave. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. Iris, we have to talk to your future husband, Ota, even though I hate that and he's a... He's an idiot, uh, but we need to go talk to him because we found out the ice pick was in what's her face's eye. So. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. That too. Okay. Yes. And you better delete that video, young lady. Because I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. Hey, you alright? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What the fuck? What? You're pregnant? No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm kidding. Ah, I knew it. I knew you were kidding. Like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? <laughs> Never ask. Don't you know it's rude to Exactly. Ask I was about to say that. 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? <laughs> You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Aww. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Stop it. But you're, you're too cute. Listen. She gets a bit of an A-plus in my book because she likes staying around, but okay? I'm just... I'm just okay? I'm not biased. But are you okay? Yeah, how are you feeling? Oh, uh, horrible. Me too. Shame. No, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. <laughs> Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I hope not. You better be cleaning my car, young lady. I would put it right back where it came from. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Yeah. Uh, oh. I just opened the passenger window. Don't actually throw up outside my car. Please don't. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. See, I'm just glad about this car. That it's not like one of those, uh, like say, I don't know if you guys know this, but like when you're sitting in the backseat of a car, there's some cars when you like roll the window down, that there's just this weird noise that plays because of something with the window, like something's wrong with it. So I'd have to yell at my family be like, hey, roll it back up, I hear that stupid noise. <laughs> hey Date, they say when you stick your hand out of a car going a hundred, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Where did you hear that from? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Sure. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? Hold up, is she actually serious about the, the dying thing? Because I feel like it. No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Same here. What a coinc what a coincidence. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. 
<laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Yeah, it does. And I was about to click something or try to mess with things, but okay. Fine game. <laughs> I like this game so far. It's fun. Intriguing at the same time. Sagan Resident Sagan Residence, Saturday, three oh nine PM. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. I thought her, the mom would come out and be like, "Oh, Dante, it's been years." I said, "Have a guy." Nah. I said my goodbyes and then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye, the mom. What? Ah. Wait. Hold on. That's the girl from my dreams. That got murdered. Oh, who is this, Iris? I think. I felt my body freeze because that woman, she's. I knew it. Yeah, she's the one dead in the dream. Hmm. No, it can't be. It can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. Yeah. As I stood there stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Okay. Hi. You're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. I feel like the mom would know who I am if I knew Iris when she was a kid. Because that little flashback was me doing the patty cake or whatever. I think the mom would know who I am. But why doesn't she? She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. I believe that Iris's dad is the one who killed her in the dream. Maybe? Because she it's obvious she dyed her hair. Um, about Renju. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Aha! We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Yeah. Do you know Renju's ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? She's dead. No reason. I mean, it's true. You can't ask how old she is. How long have you been living here? Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. I don't blame you living here for a while. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, I don't know. Huh? What? Woman, tell me! Oh, no. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? Aha! I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please! It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. I like how she really cares about her mom. She's like, hey, Date, please, this is a sensitive topic, but that that's nice. A single mother. Yes. Mm. Iris, you look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> huh? What about these beautiful flowers? The flowers. Are they the ones that are 
Ah, it's an iris. Okay. Yeah. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Was this room in my dream? Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Well, yeah. Yeah, dude, this is the room. Mysterious object. Reminds me of an angel. What object? Clock. Shoebox. Shoebox. Wonder what they smell you like. Are what? Perverted. Why would you? Oh, God. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? Are they? Yeah, the lamp. Oh, shoot. Uh, the lamp was a flower. And then this was in the dream. I know that. Um. Yeah, I think this might have been. Iva, let me know if you're cold. I'll pop you in there and warm you up. <laughs> I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Ooh, that was cold. Um, yeah, I think this might have been the place. This is a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. Dude, this looks like the guy from the dream! Bruh. Do you know me? Maybe. Oh. Uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. Hmm, you know, your daughter said the same thing. No, this is the first time we've met. Of course. No! We have met before, probably. Uh, you were saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Nom nom. Nom nom. Tea time. <laughs> I don't know what Are I'm you left talking about. Oh. Uh. Ambidextrous? Mom used to be right handed. But now. <clears throat> what? What? Okay. It locked up on me. What? Ah, oh, I see. Wait, what do you mean your hand locked? Did it just not... About the flo- up oh, about the flowers. Iris was sitting by the flowers moving behind her. And that's good news and hope. You seem to be doing well now. Yeah, thanks to you! I feel as tough as a lion! Rawr! How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Door. Yeah, that's the same door that was in the back of the room. Uh, probably a sink and a nah. dining table. You could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. Ah ha ha. Funny. <laughs> uh, I guess. Goodbye? Well. I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Hitomi stood politely. Mr. Date, we'll see each other again, right? I hope so. You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate, after all. What? Anyway, <laughs> you see. What? <laughs> yeah, something's up. Yeah, aww. Uh, oh, excuse yeah. Excuse me. Whoops. Well, I should head home. All right, take care, Date. Hmm. Some. Why? How did her hand just lock up, though? I mean, I'm guessing that's just a thing. But I, I didn't know. Dude, we sat there for like two hours. 